that worship. Must worship in spirit and in truth. Yes, he is worthy. Let's lift up our hands to the worthy Lord, our God who is more than worthy. We lift you high. We worship you. We honor and adore you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy. Lord, we give you glory. Thank you, sir, for bringing us to this bright and beautiful day that you have made. A day of your glory and a day of your power. We give you praise. We give you glory. La bizo koro do 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 shandra bika la usiaro da kutele pati sara dialo denga da ne zezika pray in the Holy Ghost this morning. Let's pray in the Holy Spirit. Warido shapla kiro de kadaba ianta siza la de 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 do de shiabiara plapi do ro do go zile de te katia tarada malambi do ro do go. Tampa Satarada Yalaba Rodijo Picate Kerala Tambi Zolodo Yaro de Kata We Lebi Zarodia do Kiada We give Yaga Jopriatuka Kalampe Demania Labado Serada The only one that is worthy, worthy of our praise, worthy of our worship, worthy of our honor, worthy of our adoration for your faithfulness, for your kindness. You are faithful, we are grateful. Labaro Shakayata. You remain faithful and we remain grateful to you for being there. Always a shield, a defense, our eternal rock, the one who is forevermore. 
Glory be to your name forever. We lift you high. We worship you. We honor and adore you. Thank you, Father. Be glorified. Thank you, sir. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name we are prayed. Are you as grateful as I am this morning? Uh, thanking God for being there, being a shield, being a guide, being our help in this awesome, wonderful year. <laughs> to him alone be all the glory. Every time I talk about this year, I just can't but laugh. And um, because that's the only way to just let go the steam of what's happening this year. But God has been so good to us uh, in this family. So let's lift up both hands one more time. And say, Father, we thank you. With a loud voice. Father, I thank you. One more time. Father, I thank you. Take all the glory. Blessed be your holy name forevermore. He's a good God. I can tell you, no matter how good and good the year is god has been faithful he has been faithful to him alone be glory in jesus precious name now this morning let's ask him for a word open my eyes to see a word open my ears to hear isaiah chapter 2 verse 2 the word of the lord which isaiah the son of amos saw concerning judah and israel the word of the lord which he saw concerning isaiah judah and israel so you can see the word the word can be seen the word can be felt the word can be received the word can be perceived let's ask for that word which will paint a picture of our future this morning lord paint a picture of my future by your word paint a picture of my future from the scripture this morning in the name of jesus and make my eyes see that picture of my future that you paint from the scripture this morning in the name of jesus give me understanding lord give me understanding it is understanding that makes everything outstanding you want to be outstanding in a the life then have an understanding of his word so lord give me understanding lord so i can be outstanding in the world this morning Give me understanding in the world to make me outstanding in the world. In the name of Jesus. Because you framed the world by your word. Your world was framed by your word. Give me understanding in the world to frame my world this morning by your word. Teach me. Open my eyes to see that word. Open my ears to hear that word. Bless me via your word this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. That word is coming for you this morning as you've asked in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, one more thing to do. We are streaming live on two uh, media. We are streaming live on Facebook, Sonia Adeni Ministries. So, take go to the Facebook, like it, follow it, and then um, we'll be reminded every time we come. And this morning also, we're also streaming live on Sonia Adeni Ministries channel on YouTube. And um, go to the channel uh, subscribe and click on the notification bell you'll be notified every time we come along as a matter of fact everything we will do this morning will be loaded in the face in the youtube channel uh, there is a blog there underneath where we put the notes for the word for the prayer points and everything declaration we're going to make will be in that so if you will be in that um, page if you have not liked it please go ahead and like it right now the Lord bless you, cause his face to shine upon you. The last thing to do before we begin the word. Now, electronic evangelism is the way to go. E-evangelism. E-evangelism. That is the new norm. So take this, uh, take the page, Facebook, share on your page. Uh, take this, uh, if you are on YouTube, share on your page. Invite people to join us to triumph this morning as we begin to speak speak to the day and begin to form how this, this day must go invite somebody uh, to come and triumph with us this morning in jesus precious name i've already shared on my page so please share and invite somebody along god bless you now the last thing i'll do before i begin to share the word i'll recognize those of us who are on facebook and then those of us who are on youtube on facebook this morning i see sister sukaina shake i see mama betty brown I see Sister Lolly Osh. I see Sister uh, Kelechi Anie Nwosu. I see Halimat Onuja. I see Sister Pat Abaleke Nwakama. I see Brother Emmanuel Imosikeme. God bless you all. Brown. I see Joy Nimi. 
I see Vanessa Wami, um, uh, Victor Foku. God bless you all. Those are the ones on Facebook. Uh, on YouTube this morning, I also see Sister Delcina Lee, Lee uh, Sister Mama, Sister Victoria Godwin. I see uh, Sister Sadie Lee Corey. I see Mama Mary Chuku, Sister Dilis Adudako, Mama Choma Chebuka. I see Sister Augusta Cole. I see Sister Kenya Adebigwe uh, Adefunke, Minister Omon Miyakintobi, Sister Sandra Dako, Dickness Lola, Debbie Aso. I see also Sister Elizabeth Kang, Sister Nkechi Ayola. Uh, good morning and welcome to Power to Triumph. Uh, God has prepared a word for us as usual. I've put it on a slide. Take a quick picture. This word will bless you. It blessed me. And um, thereafter, you can do some more digging to foster your personal relationship with Jesus. You know, the most important thing of all that we do is our personal relationship. Where are you in your personal relationship with God? If after all we have, we have said and done, you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, it's not uh, the best way to go. So, that personal relationship, cultivate it. Early hours of this morning, I've you know, had a talk and chat with my father. And after, going, after this broadcast also, I'll have that personal time with my God, myself and him alone, just talking and sharing and decreeing how the day is going to go. Hallelujah. Uh, in addition to what we're doing right now. So to God alone be all the glory. This is to stir up some fire in you. And that fire, you take it to that personal altar where you maintain your relationship with Jesus. Hallelujah. So this morning, the Lord has prepared a word. I've put it on a slide. Take a quick picture and then uh, let's go before our Father. Now, five things I like to four things I like to share with us very quickly from this passage. Acts chapter 22 verses 1 to 21. The first we we'll see is Paul began his defense. Remember, as of yesterday, he was arrested. Um, so they put a chain in his hand and um, God came to his help. It was the help of God that stopped the, the crowd, you know, the, the, the crowd from killing Paul. They would have killed him as of yesterday's reading. But you remember that the chief uh, uh, guard came to his rescue. From nowhere, he didn't know him, God sent him, and then he rescued him and took him away and was asking him, who are you, what did you do, what happened? And then now, Paul has the opportunity to reach out to the people, the hoodlums, the, the, the crowd, the, the mob that wanted to kill him. He had the opportunity to talk to them right now. So that's where we are now. So Paul began his defense by speaking in Hebrew tongue, finding a common ground with his audience. The second common ground was his training under Gamaliel, a well-respected expert on Jewish law, a voice for moderation. The, thirdly, by saying that 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 at one time he was a zeal, that at one time he was a zealous he was as zealous for God as any of his listeners, Paul was acknowledging the sincere motives behind their desire to kill him, pointing out that he had done the same to Christian leaders a few years earlier. Paul always tried to establish common ground with his audience before launching into full-scale defense of Christianity. When you witness for Christ, first identify yourself with your audience. They will be much likely to listen if they feel a common bond with you. Acts chapter 22 verses 1 to 5 a fairly la long passage, but I've summarized what it says. Now look at him in verse 2. And when they, they heard that he spoke in Hebrew tongue, they kept silence and listened. So the fact that he spoke in Hebrew tongue made them to listen. Number two, um, a very, a verily, um, verily a man born a Jew, born in Tarsus, city of Cilicia, yet brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel and taught according to the perfect manner of the laws of the Father, and was zealous towards God as ye are all this day. And I persecuted the way unto death, binding even 
unto delivering pr to prisons both men and women and then the rest of it so you see he tried to create a common ground with his listeners oh listen i'm a jew i'm born a jew i'm born in this city as a matter of fact i trained under the man called gamaliel if you all know him and they all knew gamaliel gamaliel was res well respected it's just like saying i'm from africa and you mention somebody like nelson mandela you know or somebody like uh, theodore roosevelt if you are from the united states or one of those big names so i trained under gamaliel and so they listen oh my goodness what's what are we doing to this guy so he found a common ground now that's an easy way to that's a strategy to get into people if you are reaching out to somebody to tell them about jesus first come to their level tell them how much you are related with them you see i don't know the way you're living i mean i've gone through some of these things before and i remember a time when this happened and that happened and so they, they wonder and say oh my god this guy is just at the same level as we were and then he found that common ground so they listen now always use that strategy whenever or wherever you have the opportunity to reach out to people whether at work at home or wherever it's very important now second point i'm making after gaining a hearing and establishing common ground with his audience paul gave his testimony you see he shared how he had come to faith in christ sound reasoning is good but it is also important to simply share what christ has done in our lives no matter how we present the message however not everyone we accept it as paul knew we must faithfully and responsibly present the good news and leave the result to god so he found a common ground then he shared his testimony see your testimony is a very powerful tool in getting somebody over to christ your testimony oh i remember a time when i was sick this happened that happened this was what i did this was what god did i remember a time when i had an you know something going on and then you share your testimony it kind of opens people's eyes that what you are talking about works your testimony is one of the greatest weapon that god has given us now the bible tells us in, the, in, in scriptures revelation 12 11 they overcame by the blood of the lamb and by the word of what their testimony one of the ways to reach out to win in life is to share your testimony even to yourself oh i remember a time when i had this issue god showed up for me that same god who showed up at that time he can do this one again so always don't keep your testimony preserve your testimony don't waste your testimony don't throw it at at fools you know like jesus said do not cast your pearls before swine now paul at this time he had found a common ground with his audience then he began to share his personal testimony what did he say now acts chapter 22 um if you look at that slide again verses 6 to 8 look at what he said and it came to pass that as i made my journey personal right and was come night to damascus about noon suddenly there shone from heaven a great light round about me and i fell to the ground and heard a voice saying unto me saul saul why persecutest thou me and i answered who art thou lord and he said unto me i am jesus of nazareth whom thou persecuted look at verse 9 to 11 and they that were with me saw indeed the light and were afraid but they heard not the voice of him that spake to me and i said what do i what shall i do lord and he said unto me arise go into damascus and there it shall be told thee of all things which are appointed for thee to do but when i could not see for the glory of that light being led by the hand of them that that were with me i came into damascus so your testimony always preserve your testimony very very powerful use it to reach out to people share with somebody you will see them follow you to jesus christ hallelujah or perhaps you know maybe business these principles work in business it works in life and ministry praise god now the third point i'm making right now is paul also shared the role that god used ananias to play in his life the laying on of hands the message from god his salvation experience water and holy ghost baptism through this one man called ananias 
May you and I be a vessel of honor in the hand of our Father. Acts chapter 22 from verse 12 to 16. Look at it. It says, And one Ananias, a devout man according to the law, having a good report of all the Jews which dwell there, came unto me, stood and said to me, Brother Saul, receive thy sight. The same hour I looked up upon him, and he said, The God of our fathers has chosen thee, that thou shouldest know his will, and see the, that just one, and shouldest hear the voice of his mouth. For thou, look at it, Ananias prophesying, Thou shalt be his witness unto all men of what thou hast seen and heard. And now, why tarriest thou? Arise and be baptized, and wash away thy sins, calling on the name of the Lord. So, God used Ananias. Now, God can use you for somebody or can use somebody in your life. Don't always forget them. Don't forget the people that God used for you yesterday. Someone says, be, be, be mindful of the people you meet on your way up. Well, they say on your way down, you may need them. Not on your way down. In another phase of life, you may need them. God does not bring people into our life for just happenstance. No, they are brought, everyone God brings into your life, he brings them for a reason. They may be destiny helpers. They may be people that you, you meet today that will be useful to you tomorrow. They may be people who are useful today that you will be useful to them tomorrow. So always preserve your relationships. That's what he was talking about there. He was talking about Ananias. Ananias was the first believer that met with Paul. A brother, brother Ananias, laying hand on a future apostle, Apostle Paul. So you may be a brother today, God will use you for an apostle tomorrow. You may be and catch a big fish tomorrow. So brethren, please do not joke around your relationships. They are so important. Preserve them. The last point I'm making this morning, uh, we'll see also uh, from verses 17 to 21. Paul mentioned another appearance of Jesus to him in a trance, warning him of the rejection of the gospel by the Jews. The more authentic Paul tried to show in his speech, the more the Jews turned a deaf ear. He also shared his role in his death in the death of Stephen and his commissioning by Jesus to minister unto the Gentiles. Sometimes, this is the point, practical point, brethren. No matter how authentic you try to sound, some will still not believe you. So be vulnerable at such a time. Now we all do this. Oh, I want to make sure they believe me. I want to tell them my story. I want everyone to know my story. I want people to believe me. You try to sound credible. But people say, no, they still just reject you. So what do you do? Be vulnerable. Just leave all to God. Because Romans 8.28 8, tells us, All things work together for good to them that love him and to them who are they called. Now, 17 to 21 of the verse where we read, See what the scripture says about Paul. Um, look at it. It says, And it came to pass when I was come again to Jerusalem, even when, while I prayed in the temple, I was in a trance, and saw him saying to me, Make haste, get thee quickly out of Jerusalem, for they will not receive your testimony concerning me. And I said, Lord, they know that I am in prison and beat in every synagogue, them that I believe on thee. And when the blood of the mat thy Matthias, Stephen, was shed, I was also standing by and consenting to his death, and kept the remnant of them that slew him. And he said unto me, Depart, for I will send thee unto the Gentiles. So the more he tried to prove himself and prove a point, the people just kept and God, Jesus told him, Paul, you know, I have an assignment for you. I'm sending you to the Gentiles. These Jews are not receiving you. Go to the Gentiles. So sometimes we need to stick to what God tells us. But Paul still wanted to minister to the Jews. And he tried. So at such time when you are running counter to the purpose of God for your life, it doesn't work well. So be vulnerable. Lord, I've done everything that I should do. But things are still turning this way. I'm turning myself in unto you because I believe your perfect will is being done in my life. Can I let us know that it is only God's perfect will that is done in our lives that makes us to move forward and make progress in life. Are you blessed this morning? Let's thank the Lord for his word. Father, we thank you for your word. I give you praise and give you glory. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name we are prayed. Amen and amen. Now it's time to, for prayers. 
Uh, we're going to take some personal supplication where you're going to pray for yourself. I will lead us in that prayer. If you have prayer requests, if you have praise reports, please type them in now. We're going to take your prayer request and your praise report. Praise reports are your testimonies. Like we said, your testimonies are very powerful. Use them when necessary. Encourage someone on this uh, line this morning. You've raised a prayer request. God heard. Share that testimony this morning in Jesus' name. While I'm waiting for that, I'm going to be leading us in personal supplication. And uh, here is we're going to be praying with this scripture from Acts chapter 15 verses 25 to 26. It says, It seemed good unto thee, being assembled with honor accord, to send chosen men unto you, with, with, with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, men that have hazarded their lives for the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Men that have hazarded their lives for the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we're going to pray like this. Father, in the name of Jesus, help me to face up to my assigned tasks in life, no matter the hazards that accompany the tasks. Are you willing to pray that prayer? In other words, Lord, help me fulfill destiny in grand style, no matter what stands my way. So let's pray this morning. It's personal supplication you're praying for yourself. Father, in the name of Jesus, help me to face up to my assigned tasks in life, no matter the hazards that accompany the tasks in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, are you praying for yourself? In the name of Jesus, help me to face up to my assigned tasks in life, no matter the hazards that accompany the task. That's how I'm going to be judged. That's how I'm going to be rewarded. That's how I'm going to face you. When I face you in glory, the question you will ask me is not what what I did, but what did I do according to your will? And you laid up this and this and this and this for me. Did I do them? That's the question. The assigned tasks. Lord, I receive grace. Help me to face up to my assigned tasks in life, no matter the hazards that accompany the task in the name of Jesus. Can I let us know that some of us have not even found our assigned tasks? There are tasks that have been assigned to you from the foundation of the world. You are not doing them. You are doing something else. God is asking you this morning, there are assigned tasks. Help me, Lord Jesus, help me to face up to the assigned task in life, no matter the hazards that accompany the task. It may be shrouded in some difficulties and challenges. Lord, give me the grace to face up to it, to take up the tasks. Dado Sharakita, Inano Siladata, no matter the hazards that are attached. Lord, grant me the grace. Grant me the grace. Are you praying for yourself this morning? Lord, grant me the grace. Ladiro da Gadiba Yada, Neke Peke Tete Sazirada, Akaka Kito Torodo, Binzaro Katiate, Hila Pirodo Gotiaga, Maprokoto Tigazo, no matter the hazards that are attached to my assigned task, give me the grace to fulfill destiny in grand style to the glory of your holy name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Now, can I let us know that some of us, there are some God will keep your faith on fire for him in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, glory to God. Uh, I'm calling on the name of the Lord now. Uh, also, I'm trying to see from uh, YouTube if there's any prayer point. Now, I see... Um, Sister Emilia Uduka uh, says, Good morning, brethren. I want to thank God for helping me pass my exams. <laughs> Woo! Glory to God for making me whole and for his faithfulness to my family. You remember she raised a prayer request a couple of days ago. So pray for my exams and we release grace to pass the exams. Now she's coming back to give the glory. Let's lift up our hands on her behalf and give glory to God. Thank you, Father, for helping Sister Emilia pass our exams we give you all the glory in jesus name lord you always have the final say thank you in jesus name from mama mary chuku glory be to god in the highest in the name of jesus i give glory to god for his faithfulness now if you have the prayer request please type it in we're going to take it and very soon you're going to be sharing your testimony while i'm still waiting for that we're going to declare how this day must go daily favor declaration if you are ready as i am with our mouth very strong he said i will give you a mouth 
God says in Luke 21, 15, I will give you a mouth. So your mouth is very important in declaring the direction in which your life must go. So let's go this morning if you are ready as I am. I decree in the name of Jesus. From this moment forward, I see myself the way God sees me. I am highly favored of the Lord. I am crowned with glory and honor. I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I'm reigning as a king in life through the one man, Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Now, in Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase. I have restoration. I have prominence. I have petitions granted, laws changed, policies and rules changed, and battles won, which I do not have to fight all because of favor. The blessing and favor of God is on my life today. In Jesus' name, every morning when I arise, I will speak and expect divine favor to go before me and surround me as with a shield with goodwill and pleasures forevermore. Doors are now open for me that men said are impossible to open. No obstacles can stop me today. No hindrances can delay me today. In Jesus' name, I am honored by my Father as I receive genuine favor that comes directly from God. I am special to Him. I am the object of His affection. I am the apple of His eyes. I am blessed and highly favored of the Lord. Everyone and everything shall walk to favor me today. Angels, goodness and mercy shall accompany me in all my ways. It is written, with long life will God satisfy me and show me his salvation. Therefore, I declare that I shall not die, but live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Hallelujah. I declare over me and my household today, the yoke and the burden of death is broken. Hallelujah. So shall it be for me today and my household in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. To God alone be all the glory. As you have declared this morning, that is what God will do for you. Now listen, everything we've shared, the word, the prayer point, this declaration are in this, uh, the Sonny Adeni Ministries channel on YouTube. So if you have not subscribed, go right now. Click on the subscription button, Sonny Adeni Ministries channel on YouTube. Subscribe and then click on the notification bell. You'll be notified when we come along. And then underneath the page in the YouTube, there's a blog there where I keep all of these notes. So they are there, kept there for you in another 10 minutes. They're going to be there. So make sure you use them. God bless you. Now, a quick announcement. Remember today we fast and pray and are waiting upon the Lord. It also doubles as our Bible study at Joy Overflow International Church. Today is the second of the series of our marriage seminar. It started last week. Please do not miss it. Don't say, I'm not getting ready to get, ma to get married now. I'll be married. No, you will need it. Your children will need it. Your children, children will need it and you'll be there to advise them. So, as shown on the screen, today at 6.30 p.m. at the Bible study at Joy Overflow International Church. Uh, the address is 2013 39 Avenue Northeast. If you are in town, please join us physically. This is marriage seminar. Very important. Is either you were married or you will be married now or your children will be married. So, it is important to know what to do to get ready to be married. Now, what preparations do you know? And our mother in the Lord, Pastor Dili Bangboi, she will be spitting out fire today. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, I'm so looking forward to it. And remember, we're fasting and praying today, and then we'll break our fast with the communion. And it's a joy overflow international church, 2013 39 Avenue Northeast. Now, in case you are not in town, we're going to be streaming live on Joy Overflow International Church Facebook page and Sonny Adeni Ministries YouTube uh, channel. Both uh, live streams will be on and running simultaneously. So whichever one you prefer, please link up with it. And I believe God is going to be an awesome time. If you need the prayer points for today, inbox me, reach out to me uh, through the channel uh, that we're using right now. And then I'll let you have the prayer points for today in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, as you wait upon the Lord, your strength shall be renewed. You shall mount up with wings like eagle. You shall run. You will never be weary. You will walk and not faint in Jesus' name. Remember, we'll meet again tomorrow morning, 6.30 a.m. to 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. Calgary time. Interpret that time in the zone 
where you live and then join us at the appropriate time to the glory of our Father. Are you blessed this morning? Let's lift up our hands. appreciate God one more time for his goodness to us, for his mercy and love, and give him glory this morning in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. With Jesus' joy, shall we together share the covenant from Psalm 16, verse 11. Let's go. God will show me the path of life. For in his presence is the fullness of my joy. And at his right hand are my players forevermore. Peace, love, and joy. Now the second one shouted out loud. My glory is here. No loss, no pain, no shame. All through this day, no loss, no pain, no shame for you in Jesus' name. And I am waiting for your testimony. How do you respond? I shall testify in Jesus' name. One more time. Let's make it loud. I am waiting for your testimony. How do you respond? I shall testify in Jesus' name. Now listen, we don't joke with these things. They are declarations. God is making our mouth strong to declare what we want to see. And that's all you will see in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord God bless you and cause his face to shine upon you this day in the name of Jesus. And may his glory cover you in Jesus' precious name. Thank you for coming on this morning. The hand of the Lord will rest on you and his glory will cover you in Jesus' name. Peace.